Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you can manage and keep track of your friendships and help you evolve your snom into your frost moth bro. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to Hammerlock and obviously you want to make sure you got your uh, fro snom out as well. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I have a snom somewhere in here. So we're going to get our snom out here and we're going to put him in our team. We'll put him in place of Corviknight for now. So we have our snom, and as you can see, it's not evolved yet. And what is he holding? He's holding a Soothe Bell. Guys, you can get your Soothe Bell in Hammerlock. So guys, in order to be able to t get your Soothe Bell, and to be able to determine how friendly your Pokemon are, you want to come to Hammerlock, and you want to go all the way over here to this little house right here. And inside, talk to all these guys. One of these guys gives you the Soothe Bell. This girl, probably. And uh, you can put the Soothe Bell onto your Pokemon like I have here with Cutie Pile. And like you said, guys, it makes you go, it makes your Pokemon grow more friendly. Have a Pokemon hold a Soothe Bell and that Pokemon will grow friendly faster than normal. Now, if you guys don't know, Frostmoth evolution is based on friendship. So I literally just got this, I haven't really used it yet. So this boy here tells you how friendly they are. So let's have a look at how friendly they are right now uh, towards me. So you, Cutie Pile, how friendly are you towards me right now? Seems like it likes you an average amount. Don't worry, you two get close as time passes. Another important piece of information is that Snom actually only evolves after you level it up at night time. But later in the video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that, even if it's in the middle of the day for you. One important thing for you guys to know as well is you can find yourself a Snom right here in the grass in Route 8, which is before the Ice Gym for Pokemon Shield. You'll have a look here on the map. It's right here before... Kirchester. So Route 8 is here and uh, you'll be able to find your Snom right there so you can catch one. They don't seem to be particularly rare. There was one here every time I've passed through so you can just go into a wild battle and catch one. What's that? A shiny? Holy shit. I don't want to kill it. Holy. <laughs> They're pretty easy to catch. That was my first Ultra Ball. Oh my. What? Can't be. Was that the shiny sparkles? It doesn't look so. As you know, guys, it doesn't look much. <gasps> it is, dude. Oh my god, dude. No. <laughs> What? What are we nicknaming this? Oh, what? Oh, I haven't chained- Guys, this is my second Snom ever. I haven't chained anything. Wow. Oh, that's sick. Cuddles. Wow, dude. Okay, well, you know what? We have to befriend this one. We have to evolve this one. It's gonna replace my current one, Cutie Pile. Sorry, man. I was working on Cutie Pile, but dude, you're coming in. Shiny? Oh, shit. All right, uh, let's, so, as I was saying with the maybe befriending things, you gotta have to have the, you're gonna want to have the Soothe Bell on your Pokemon that you want to befriend. There it is. Let's just have a little look. It's, sh <laughs> it's shiny, dude! What are the odds? This is gonna be a great video. <laughs> okay, let's hurry up and evolve this boy, okay? So, what you want to do is you have to level it up at night. Oh my god. We want to put up a camp. I'm gonna have to do the camp maybe three times. Wow, dude. Alright. Let's call over our Frost... Get out of the way. Okay, we got him. Let's call over him here. As quick as you can. My... <laughs> so many Pokemon. In the way. This is gonna be the focus of it. So, if you call over a Pokemon in your camp they can, and play with them, they can become the focus of your your experience here in the camp so okay well dude that's not that's not cool Ponyta get out of the way to get out of the way why are you actually blocking him oh for that's such get out of the way <laughs> oh he's coming he's coming he's working his way around dude no not you too Oh my god, come on, man. It takes it slow enough as it is. 
he enjoys this. He enjoys this a bit. When he attacks you with musical notes, he really enjoys it. So let's keep that going. I wonder if he can catch a ball. I haven't tried that yet. I was working my other snom, but uh, this one will do, man. Cuddles. <laughs> I have to have this in my team now. Uh, let's chat. He's relaxing in a familiar place. Tell me more. Looks like he's full of energy. Tell me more. Let's go play. He seems curious about me. That's good. You want to make him tired too. So you want to keep doing this until he's tired, pretty much. I can't believe we got a shiny. <laughs> and at the end, you want to do you want to do cooking, so. Okay, he's having fun. He's having a good time. That's good. Let's cook. Let's do cooking. Let's do salad mix. Let's do some random berries. I don't know what the berries really do, to be honest, but... There's like, there's a description in them all, but it's so complicated. I'm just gonna do this. I mean, there might be some rare berries in there, and not knowing what they're, what there are. Anyway, this is how you want to cook properly, so... Put all the ingredients in there. Hope for the best. You want to spam A to get those flames up, and you want to get the sparks, golden sparks, coming out of the pot. So, there's some coming out already. I'm spamming A, like, pretty fast. And, uh, that's looking good, I think. More sparks is better, so keep going. Yeah, they're starting to come out a little quicker now, and everyone's enjoying it. <laughs> the Pokemon are really liking watching that, so, so you want to stir fast as well uh, to get the sparks coming out too. But you'll start feeling your controller vibrating a lot when you're when it's, you're risking spilling it. But you know, you'd have to be doing it extremely fast to spill it. But it seems like it's, it's actually difficult to spill it. So anyway, stir it pretty fast there. Here you want to get close to the yellow and you want to tap A here. Oh, get that hard in, just like that. And that is looking like a good curry. It exploded. <laughs> it exploded, so damn it. so good. And everyone's pretty happy, so everyone's gonna feast. Let's see, uh, hopefully um, Snom's my main guy here. It's even sparkling on the plate, that's a good sign, dude. Oh, uh, Weezing, why, why? I just don't know. I don't know why Weezing is here as the main, I don't know. Oh, it's cause he's the first Pokemon I team. No, dude, ah. Oh. Anyway, we got a new s Copper Edger class, spicy salad curry. That makes sense. Anyway, let's quit. We did play with all the, uh, we did play with Cuddles all the way, so Cuddles is gonna get a lot of experience there, obviously. It doesn't matter if he's first in your team, he's still gonna be the focus. For checking how friendly they are towards you, you gotta go to your map and you gotta go to Hammerlock right here and you'll be able to check how friendly they are so you can know your progress. At the beginning, he just says he's average. I'll probably show it in the video. It just says, yeah, he likes you an average amount, and then you can build it up to more and more and more, and you want to get the friendship up to the highest level, and then level it up at nighttime. So let's see how friendly he is now. This is my new Pokemon, so... I think you're on the way to becoming good friends. Okay, I think that's the next phase up from average, so we still have a bit of a ways to go. Okay, so, talking to this boy, See how much she likes us after three battles and leveling up one. So it seems like you're pretty good friends. It's the third level and I bet you could become even closer again. So I think the way we can do this now is to do another camp. All right, he's here. Let's play with him a lot if we can. Okay, so he got the dot, dot, dot up above his head. That's when it's done. It looks like he's really enjoying it. He's thinking about a meal. That's our chance, guys. That is it. Let's, let's, uh, let's cook. And the finishing touch, put it on the yellow edge. Oh, there we go, right like that, perfect. Dry apple curry, wow, that looks incredible. That looks bloody good. And, what's the verdict? Yes, quick eating is what you want there. You want them to stuff it in. All right, well, it's still a silver, but I'll take it. HP and PP were restored, yeah. And they became more friendly towards me, so that should be it. That's gonna be it for the camping here. Okay, we finally did it guys, we leveled them up. You two get along great, together is always better, am I right? Now, at that point, that's when you wanna try and level this guy up. So now that we're best friends with our Snom, I actually think you can do it a level below, by the way, keep in mind, and that's pretty easy to get to. You can probably get there in about 10 minutes of playing around. So, what we wanna do here now is, well, let's just save it just to make sure everything's fine, okay? <laughs> Save our progress here. So instead of waiting until nighttime, your time, and you want to make it nighttime now, you can change that stuff over on the uh, system settings here. You want to go down to system in the settings and date and time, okay? Let's change your time zone here for a sec. 
and go to somewhere where it's nighttime, like, hmm, like America, okay? Okay, that's it. That's our date and time. It's 9.03 p.m. Let's go into the game. And let's leave the city. When you leave the city, you're outside and it is definitely nighttime, guys. Look at that. So when you're out here at nighttime, guys, you don't have to, you can just level up however you want, honestly. I'm gonna pop a rare candy for him and get that level. So let's use one. That gives me a level. And that's it, dude. So yeah, you can change your clock like that. You can get at nighttime, you can evolve your cuddles. <laughs> guys, this is a shiny, so this is gonna be your first time seeing this, hopefully. That's our shiny moth boy. Green eyes, glossy. Looking good. Curls it evolved into frost moth. That's how you do it, boys and girls. And don't forget to change your time back on your settings afterwards because, you know, you'll want that. So that's our shiny boy right there. Looking fresh. Looks good. Uh, peach underwing, green eyes. Looks good. So he's going to be a part of our team because these are first shinies. It means a lot. So, <laughs> guys, let me know what you thought of that. I hope you found this video useful, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed seeing Fro Shiny Frostmont too. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye!